Hi children, in the last session, you have, you came to know that a current carrying conductor, when placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force and it moves in the direction of force. And the rule we discussed, isn't it, left hand, uh, Fleming's left hand rule. How can we apply it to find the direction of motion of this conductor? Okay, so that is what I am going to explain now. Look here, in the picture I told you, A is given positive. B is given negative. Okay, then A to B, the direction of current is A to B. And the magnetic field lines move from north pole to south pole. So, downward direction. Isn't it? The, the magnetic field downward direction and A to B the current direction towards right. Then the direction of motion of the conductor, will it be inward or outward the magnet? That is what we are going to discuss now. So for that, we can use left hand rule. So which direction I have to hold current in the direction A to B. Okay. So if I hold it this way, it will be A to B. But our magnetic field should be in the downward direction. So, I have to hold it this way. Isn't it? How, what way we have to hold? This is a and this will be in the downward direction. So, can I hold it like this? If I hold it like this, is it okay? This is direction of current. Okay, A to B, this direction and this will be downward. Magnetic field is downward. Current will be towards right. This way we have to hold. And the thumb will point in the inward direction into the page. Isn't it? So the conductor will move inward direction. Okay. And if the direction of current changes. That is B given positive, A given negative. Then B to A, the current moves from B to A. So how to hold it? North and south, same way. So how to hold it? This way it will be. This Direction of current this way. Okay. This is the direction and the field four finger shows downward. So this thumb will be outward direction pointing outward direction. So current from left to right and this will be downward. Force will be field will be downward and the conductor moves in the outward. Thumb points in the outward direction. So this will be in the outward direction. Conductor will move in the outward direction. Okay. So, as the current flows from A to B, the conductor will move inward direction into the field. It's in the inward direction. And if the direction of current changes from B to A, the conductor will move outward direction. And I hope you understood this point. And uh, for that, which rule to find the direction of applied force we use? Le Fleming's left hand rule. How can we uh, state the rule? Imagine that you um, uh, sorry uh, hold the three fingers, forefinger, middle finger and thumb of your left hand mutually perpendicular to each other. If forefinger points towards the direction of magnetic field and middle finger direction of current, Thumb will point towards the direction of force up, uh, force on the conductor. Now, what are the factors on which the form, uh, force acting on the conductor or motion of the conductor uh, depends? Yes, it is the direction of current and also the direction of poles of the magnet. Now, let us um, find the use, one of the important use of this property. Okay, and that is, you all know electric motor. Where do we use electric motor? Yes, in fans, toys, mixer grinder, these all uses washing machines. Everywhere we use an electric motor. What is the use of electric motor? It converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Okay, fan. While it rotates, we give electric energy, isn't it? Electrical energy provided, convert into mechanical energy to rotate the uh, fan. 
isn't it? Um, washing machine also. As we give the uh, switch on, it uh, it rotates, isn't it? Drum rotates. So mechanic it converts mecha uh, electrical energy into mechanical energy. So uh, the electric this electric motor functions on the basis of this rule. Okay, um, uh, on the basis of mecha this force acting on an uh, 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 force acting on a conductor carrying current when placed within the magnetic field okay so the uh, principle behind the electric motor is a current carrying conductor placed in an elect uh, in a magnetic field experiences a force Okay, children. So let us see the working of a uh, electric motor. Parts of electric motor first. Then we will discuss the working also. Here you can see the parts of a electric motor. This north and south usually shaped magnet only from one um, front side poles only shown here. North and south pole of a magnet and here you can see and here you can see a rectangular wire okay this rectangular wire fully wounded by some uh, conducting wire okay fully coiled conducting wire is placed over this rectangular frame okay this is this part is called a b c d is the rectangular frame on which uh, wires are uh, conducting wires are wound over it okay and this rectangular frame is known as armature okay and this is the armature a b c d is the armature so see these are poles of the field magnet so we can say the one part is field magnet or magnetic poles then rectangular frame which is called armature okay this armature you can see it will rotate about the axis so that axis you can see the dotted line represent this armature will rotate with the about this axis so axis of rotation x y and then here you can see one end of the coil is fixed at a semicircular ring here you can see this is uh, this a complete ring but broken from here gap upside also gap so we can say two semicircular rings are there so one end of this coil is connected to one of the semicircular ring and the other end is connected to the other semicircular rings these semicircular rings are called split rings one complete ring split into halves so it is known as split rings okay so these semicircular rings are called split rings other parts r1 and r2 named it as r1 and this ring is known as r2 so semicircular rings what is now what are they called split rings and another these split rings are connected externally with a, uh, a piece of metal usually graphite is used okay so piece of graphite graphite you know well know that graphite is a good conductor okay so this graphite this semi both the semicircular rings or split rings are connected to graphite pieces okay and this graphite pieces are called brushes okay brushes b1 and b2 graphite brushes and this graphite brushes then connect to the cell battery positive and negative terminal of the battery these are the parts of a electric motor that is field magnets armature axle of rotation and then split rings brushes okay these are the and connected to external battery now what is the working of this as the current passes switch on the current passes through this wire and passes the brush and this brush being a conductor good conductor the current passes through it and it reaches to this semicircular rings split rings and the split rings are connected to the end of this coil armature isn't it and from a here positive this end is given positive and it will more pass from here a to b the direction of current here is a to b so the force will experience as the current passes through this coil this becomes magnet so this magnet within this magnet if an external force a force will experience to this conductor and it rotates okay it moves 
okay the mo it moves and here you know cd from here a to b listen the current passes from a to b and it moves from b to c and in the opposite direction here this side c to d the current so opposite to that of a b this side a b a to b here downward direction c to d so both this side opposite direction the force will experience in the opposite uh, direction so one will be uh, this this side will be up and here downward direction then the force experience will rotate this armature this armature rotate within this field okay and first half it will rotate the armature will rotate and thus uh, why as armature rotates here brushes are only in touch with this split ring it is not fixed as it rotate first half the brush b1 will come in contact with r1 as it complete rotation this b2 ring will move this side and it will come to contact with the b1 okay and b1 will go to, uh, b1 and r1 will go to brush b2 so this way the direction of current then the direction of current changes b2 uh, and b1 brushes will be there itself but the split rings alone rotates this r1 goes to b2 and r2 comes to b1 so the r2 becomes positive and r1 becomes negative in the second half direction of current changes and the it uh, rotation completes it completes the rotation this is the working of this electric motor okay and here the split ring changes the direction of current any device which changes the direction of current is called what is it called the device which changes commutator it called commutator so the split rings here in the electric motor <coughs> functions as a commutator which changes the direction of current reverses the direction of current that is the function of split rings in the uh, in this electric motor hope all of you understood the part children and uh, you once again you go through the textbook reading and if uh, uh, today that much in this session and next session we will discuss about moving coil another device which functions on this same principle that we will discuss in the next class you have to learn to draw the diagram you should know the each part of the electric motor working principle and also the working also you have to learn okay children uh, we will continue in the next session till then bye